In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how I build an AI assistant that fully manages my entire inbox and only bothers me when there's an important email it thinks I should see. Most people waste hours every day on Inbox Zero, scanning and sorting through a whole lot of junk just to find the one or two emails that are actually urgent. But the truth is, Inbox Zero is a trap. What you actually need is Inbox Peace. And I'm about to show you exactly how I achieve that using just two AI agents that surface the important emails for me and brief me later on everything else. I'm Ev Chapman and I've been coaching knowledge professionals for over a decade and I spent the last few years obsessing over knowledge systems that actually support the work that we do. By the end of this video, you'll have a fully functional AI email assistant managing your inbox so you never stress about missing important emails again. Okay, so first let me show you what Inbox Peace actually looks like. So I run this whole system in Slack. So this is just a free Slack account that I set up where I get my email briefings, I get notifications on different things, and I find it just a really great way to be able to kind of work without being in my inbox. And because there's nobody else in this inbox, it's not like one of those like distracting spaces. Okay, so you can see that like this is a typical kind of like email digest. So every morning at 5 a.m. I get one of these email digests and what it looks for is any emails from the day previous and it's sorting it into two things like urgent, and action required and then interesting reads. So I, like everybody else, get a lot of interesting things in my inbox, but I don't want them to distract me. And so I love this. And I've had this email digest for months and months and I just love it every morning because I can like choose if I want to go into my inbox and like look at something, right? So that's kind of like one of the agents. The other agent then brings me VIP emails, I call them. So they're anything that's urgent to me and it's scanning every one of my emails as they come in and deciding, is this something that Ev should know about or is it something that I can put into the email digest? So you can see here, this email here, I also got a notification yesterday about it. Now, this is not a high priority email. So there's still some kinks in my system. It's kind of like, okay, this is not like, I don't need to see this. Like, it's just kind of like a, a sales opportunity. So this is a high priority email that I want to see straight away, right? So this is someone who's installed or bought my template and had some trouble installing it. And so I want to get back to them straight away. And so I get these emails straight away from my inbox assistant. And I have two kinds of emails that I always want to see straight away. This kind where it's like customer support anyone who's bought something from me, they're having trouble with a the link, they're having trouble with installing, they've got a question, all of those kinds of things. And then two is sales emails. So if anyone is saying like, hey, I'm thinking about buying Tata Fast Track, but I've got a question, I want to get back to those emails straight away because if someone's in buying mode, I want to make sure that I answer their questions so they can actually go and make that purchase. So this is the end result, but let me show you how I do this in Relay. All right, so I run all of these agents through Relay and Relay is my tool of choice for any automations, AI agents, AI workflows, everything kind of in my business. Like I kind of treat Relay as an employee in my business. So they do a lot of assistant work. They do heaps of kind of content work. And I find Relay probably one of the simplest automation platforms to use, right? So that's why I love it. It's super simple to set things up. So I run two agents. So I've got this one, the daily email brief, and then also the high prior email notification. So this one here, We'll look at this one first, right? And it's and maybe it looks complicated, but it's actually not. Okay. So how this works is that the trigger is when any email comes into my Gmail inbox. So you can connect different kind of apps into Relay and I just connected my Gmail. So it literally reads every single one of my emails and then it classifies it. So if we come in here, you can see that the trigger runs when an email is received. There's not any filters or anything like that. That's all that happens there. Okay, so then here we have classify with AI and what you can do with, if I just turn this off, if you want to add extra, these are all the different kind of steps that you can add. And one of them is AI. So you can do all sorts of things like when you have AI in the mix of your automations. So you can do things like extract, which is what extracting different information, summarizing, writing things, classifying, you know, audio automations, and then also like a custom prompt. So what I've done with this one in particular is just a classify prompt. And so what it's doing here is it's classifying the attached email as one of the following high priority or low priority. And then 
I give it a bit of a filter, right, for what a classification email is. Okay, so high priority emails related to sales of my products or support requests. These are the highest priority because they directly relate to sales. No other emails are high priority, right? So it's like a really simple prompt. It's not very uh, sophisticated. And then AI also has access to the email from the previous step. So you can come here in any kind of previous step that you have. You just can select that, right? There's no extra knowledge, no extra tools. It just uses ChatGPT like really simple right and over here what's happening so there's two ways in relay that you can output the format of these ai prompts so one of them is to actually like create structured data right so and that's what we're doing here or you can actually just set this to just be you know text but in our case, what we're trying to do is say, okay, I want you to classify every one of these emails. So it's giving a classification of high or low, and then it's also outputting the email copy. So once that's done, this step here is a flow control. So basically we're creating two different paths or as many different paths as you want. And as AI classifies them, it kind of sends off those emails into, into two different paths, okay? So the first path is high priority, and then the second path is everything else. So you can see that everything else I don't do anything with, right? But the high priority emails, I do a couple of things. So I send a message, right, to my daily email brief channel. So that goes in, and here in the message, you can, you know, you can basically type whatever you want. And then you add data this way. So I've added data like the email copy, you know, that kind of thing, right? So what it's doing here is basically high priority email from this person with the email subject and the body. That's it, right? So all it's doing is just sending that off to Slack. Then what happens is I uh, have a label, right? That's like, I basically give it a label of starred. So then when I go to my inbox, I can find all of these high priority emails in the starred emails, right? So it makes it like really easy then to get back into the inbox and see all of those emails again. And then one other thing that I've been building out, it's not exactly finished yet, but it is being able to reply to a message. So if I reply to that thread in Slack, it will then reply to the email. So as I said, that's still, I haven't actually published that part yet, but it's just a next step that I want to be able to reply in Slack and then have that email sent off. And eventually what I'd love to do is for the agent to actually draft the email and I can just say, yes, I want to send that off and it does it all. Okay, so that's my VIP alert. So I get those every time a VIP email comes in and then everything else runs off the next agent, which is just a general daily debrief. So this daily email brief runs on a time trigger. So every day at 5 a.m. it runs. There's nothing more complicated than that. What it does is it goes into my emails and it finds all of my emails. And so what it's doing here is it's basically matching these conditions, okay? So it's looking at the inbox, right? Anything that's labeled inbox and anything that is unread. So if I've already gone in and read something, it won't send me that in the digest, which I find really good for the VIP emails because I've probably already gone in and actually dealt with them. So I don't get reminded of that again. Then it's also looking for basically anything that's come in from the previous day, right? So it comes after minus one day, so 24 hours prior, and it comes before today, right? So I basically just asked the assistant here how to set that up because I just want to see yesterday's emails. And what I like about this is that like yesterday's emails are finite. So when I'm looking at yesterday's emails, there's not more emails coming in. So that's why I kind of like getting this digest the next day, very first thing, it's looking at all of yesterday's emails, right? And then also it just, this is kind of just set up just as a limitation. So if there's more than 50 emails, it just pauses and runs a notification and sends me that notification in Slack and I can always come back in and say, yes, run. I don't get more than 50 emails a day, right? It's finding all those emails. Then there's a prompt here, okay? And here, this kind of like tells the AI, what we're trying to do. So basically you're a friendly and useful email digest assistant. Your job is to read all of my emails from yesterday and then just present a clear scannable format that I can go through, right? And so I tell it then use the custom knowledge document, email preferences. And I'll talk a little bit about that in a sec on how to categorize things and then group the emails into two categories, right? Urgent, action required, and interesting reads. Then only includes emails that require attention or are going to be genuinely interesting to me. And then if a section has no 
emails, leave it out completely, talks about section headings, all that kind of thing. And then it's got a bit of an output format, right? Like here's how I would want it to present to me. But the real brains of this is not the prompt. It's actually the email briefing guidelines. So if I open this up, you can see here that I have like a pretty comprehensive doc about what's a top priority email, signals to look out for, things to exclude, what's an interesting read. Okay. And here, because I, I still get a lot of emails and I might not be interested in them all. So I definitely kind of like tell it, you know, things I'm interested in, that kind of thing. So, and how I, how I got to this is basically I just went to ChatGPT, I turned on voice and I just started talking about these are emails that are important to me. These are emails that are interesting reads. And I just asked it to put it into a knowledge base like this. Right. So I find that kind of the combination of a prompt and then also some like more kind of like guidelines that you can put into a knowledge doc actually makes this, you know, really, really smart. So this has access to the emails. OK, so these are the emails from the previous step. So this one here and then also the briefing guidelines. I use GPT-5 for this. And over here in the output format, you see that we're not like in the high priority agent. We were structuring that data. This one, I just output as rich text. Okay. So you can either go structured output or this one here, which is what I do. So once that's done, then it sends the message into Relay. So it's just basically, I'm just outputting whatever AI does straight in there. Now, if I did want to get a bit more fancy with this particular one, I might also want to include a link to the email so that I can like click on it, get straight there. But usually I just kind of, you know, quickly scan through it and see, is there anything that's like got missed in the VIP emails um, that I need to deal with? And then I look through like what to read and I just go to my inbox and I, I just go and read it. So there you have it, two simple AI agents that give you complete inbox peace without ever having to chase inbox zero again. And if you want the exact relay assistance I showed you today, I'll leave a link to them in the description below. But if you really want to take your knowledge system to the next level, check out this next video where I show you how to build a Tana meeting agent that eliminated 90% of my meeting prep time. It's the perfect complement to this email system because once your inbox is handled, you'll also want your meetings running just as smoothly. And don't forget to sign up for my Knowledge Work Rebooted newsletter if you want more practical systems, agents, and workflows just like this one.